This is a brand new account. There's no background ranked at all. But the thing is, I know I'm gonna I know I'm gonna hit um plat. The whole point is to make a video and help everyone else know my thought process behind hitting plat. So this is the very first game. If I was a copper or a bronze or anybody, I would most likely want to try to ban canal or um I feel like I feel like everybody should get comfortable playing on all the maps. Uh, I would I'm gonna try to do at least half of my placements today and probably do the other ones. How did you rank it up fast? I just I didn't it wasn't that fast at all. It took me like almost two months to level this up. It's because I played in my free time as well. I, I didn't buy it. I just I had to play a lot of unranked. Like a lot of those nights where I didn't stream is because I'm trying to level up this account and I'm playing with like my cousins. Banning someone like Kali is honestly kind of a waste of a ban. I feel like she's like there's always alternate problems. Odds of them running Kali is very low. Yeah, they should have just kept it level like no, I, I think level 30 was okay. I think level 20 was I think level 20 is a little bit low in my opinion. I think 30 was just good. I'm gonna let my team pick, see what they're going. Let's see what my team's going. So it looks like we don't have a hard reacher. But that'd be okay. At first, cause if they I'm gonna go sledge. So on a map like consulate, most likely they're either gonna go top floor or bottom floor. Not having a hard breacher on bottom floor obviously can be a little bit of a problem, but if they're going top floor, Sledge is going to help out either way. Either way, Sledge Sledge can play vertical downstairs and Sledge can just frag out upstairs, you know. Alright, so I'm going to watch for my spawn peaks. I'm going to be quick and get out of spawn. The thing is, if someone's spawn peeking, people will just stay out here for a long time and they'll battle the people on the windows, but take the gunfight inside the building as much as you can. Hello, Limit. I'm going to drone inside real quick. I'm gonna check right side of admin, left side of admin. All right, I'll clear. Check the corners for caviar vigil. So overall, I'm checking it. So they're downstairs. So I'm clear to just go in right now. All right, so I see somebody all the way in the back over there. So I got one in the back. That IQ was looking at someone from yellow. So I'm gonna keep my attention on that. I'm pretty sure I killed a guy CEO, so. Might be a guy yellow. Okay, I don't see a guy yellow, so. I hear an Aruni near me. I'm assuming that's a piano. So. Oh, yeah, I could just. I'm gonna distract her with a grenade. I'm gonna look at her door, because that's the only way that she can come in from. That's Aruni dead, so I got piano control. Uh, I'm gonna skip this Aruni right here. They had a shield right there. And yeah, bitch was not open. And we pushed really late, and I guess. So, I did my part. I did my clear. Uh, I did a vertical play, but obviously, it was eno not enough time down there. So, hey, one round of loss on the board, so basement is cleared out. So, we're going to go top floor. So, top floor, the best way to take top floor is either do CEO, repel, and take, take yellow. Or you can take admin side. Admin side is quick way inside the building. Otherwise, you know, you can go for main lobby, all that kind of stuff. So it looks like we finally have a heart breacher now. And if you don't if someone has a heart breacher and you don't know who to go, um Ash, Sledge, and Zofia are kinda of really good on all sites because of because of uh what do you call it? Soft soft breach. And having uh problems getting to gold, what what's your advice? Get yourself a team, don't solo queue as much as it. I mean, if you want to solo queue out of gold one, carry carry every game. But you just gotta keep playing the game with a good stack, and eventually you'll learn how to play better. That guy getting spawn picked, I'm not worried about. I'm just gonna focus on my game. My jackal was looking at the door, and yeah, well, unlucky round. They have to go lobby now. I'm not worried that we're down 0-2, because as long as you get one on attack, it's usually the general uh, safety net for every map. As long as, long, as long as you have one on the board, you should be okay. If you have a stack, but you want constant, that's okay make other make other stacks the more people you have on your friends list the more people you'll be able to play with except for aggressive plays and i'm gonna solo take it just because i don't my team doesn't really like i feel like they don't really know much about like pushing normally so i'm just gonna do my own thing i'm gonna leave this cutoff trend right here i'm gonna aim my down hopefully no one's hiding in here oh they have a lo rotate long desk Oh. There's actually a dude right there. So 
Well, I got one. I use my drone. I'm gonna recharge this open. So, I'm gonna. Oh, shit. There's actually a. I'm gonna re fire this guy. So. That should be top pretty good. I'm hearing. Yo, Mace J, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Hey, appreciate the summon, man. So it's not like a maestro. Where's the diffuser? Can you grab the diffuser and come plant? So I don't know. So I'm just gonna cover while he's planting. So I got the cam for him. I'm gonna be careful of the rotate uh, circle desk. Oh, he's on the hatch. Okay, so I didn't know he was on the hatch. Um, the reason, the reason why I pushed into that room when I played the hatch because I heard someone spraying main lobby. So if I'm in the hatch, I can get eyes down to because my teammate is in a gunfight with that doc or rook in the main lobby. So I go on the hatch, I shoot him in the back because he's exposed. To, I have that advantage on him. And once I kill him, I know circle dust is clear. The last one is probably the maestro hiding in bathroom or like back of sight. The, the likelihood of him flanking would be, uh, pretty 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 low but it was high at that time so i just i aimed the next person and yeah you know you just got to go through mace j again thank you for your emo uh this is the twitch prime enjoy your emotes my man and your stay so yeah you, you just got to make sure that you're not taking too long with your plays how i handled that guy hiding in the corner i didn't i didn't move my drone in there to spot him because i know where he is and with map knowledge i know i can wall bang him from that corner so so when it comes to reinforcing, honestly, what I usually do is just either reinforce defaults or I kind of see what my other teammates are doing because my other teammates are reinforcing like random stuff. Like, I don't know what the F this is. Hey, put a mirror right here, actually. My teammate not know how to put a mirror on there. So, looks like they're kind of watching each other do it. So, <laughs> I'm going to start making my way down. But Ella's already up here, so I'm assuming nobody else is up here, too. Sophia dead. So that's Sophia. Uh, they're coming benches window. I'm gonna check cam. Oh wait, they planned. What the? F what? Oh okay. So there was really no specific call. Oh, there was a claymore. I forgot to check for a claymore. So. I'm not pressed over one one win or one loss, so I'm not gonna complain that my team was bad. I'm not gonna complain about anything, cause if anything, just move on to the next game. I'm solo queuing. I don't expect anything. That's how you should kind of be after every game. Like, there's no reason for me to have a negative mindset after that one. Just keep moving on.